When we use private and public keys for security, there's always one big question. What happens if the private key is compromised? If someone else gets access to it, they can impersonate you, sign documents in your name, and access things they shouldn't. The whole system relies on keeping that private key secure. But no security is perfect. Keys can be lost, they can be stolen, and once they're compromised, how do you recover? This is where key rotation comes in. Key rotation is the process of replacing an old key with a new one. If a private key is compromised, you generate a new key pair, update your records, and start using the new key. But that introduces another challenge. How do people know which key is the right one? If someone has your old public key, how do they know it's no longer valid? And how do we keep track of this history in a reliable way? That's where the W3C Decentralized Identifier Standard, DIDS, comes in. DIDS were designed to solve this problem, along with another major issue, the endpoint problem. Normally, to verify an identity, you need to check a trusted authority, like a certificate provider. But what if you don't want to depend on a central authority? What if you want an identity system that works anywhere without relying on a single organization? Did solve this problem by creating a self-sovereign identity system. Instead of relying on a central registry to control the records, each DID is controlled by the entity it represents. A DID is a unique identifier that links to a document containing the public keys and service endpoints for that identity. If you need to rotate keys, you update the DID document. Because it's often, but not always, stored on a decentralized system, like a blockchain or other distributed ledger, anyone can verify its history. That means anyone can check which keys were valid at a given time, track updates, and confirm that the information comes from a trusted source. With DIDs, if a key is stolen, it can be replaced, and anyone verifying the identity can immediately see the update. By solving the problems of key rotation, tracking key history, and removing the need for a central authority, DIDs create a new way to manage trust in a decentralized world.